Hey, I'm back, and today I'm going to talk about something that I didn't think I'd be talking about so soon. So, if you saw my rant about Bleach and how I was disgusted with the ending, you saw that I was talking about like the live action version, and I didn't have that you know like high hopes for it, but I I, I wanted it to be good. But I was I was watching YouTube recently, actually today. And I came across this video, this was on the side of my feed. The Bleach live action movie is already looking terrible. Why? Why? It's, it's not even filming yet, why is it already looking bad? So I watched the video and they showed like some of the first shots of it, so let's take a look. There's one. Not impressive, his sword looks crazy for some reason. Uh, and the his clothes are I don't know. I'm hoping this is just like a bad shot. Like these are obviously like low resolution photos. Or, I don't know if it's the resolution, but they're not taken well. And it's not looking too good so far. One thing I noticed is like why does it look blue? That that's one thing. Is, it's just baffling. I hope they use maybe they're gonna use some like camera tricks or CGI or like. An Instagram filter or something? I know their budget isn't that big. Maybe that's what they're going to do. Just put some Instagram filters on it or something. But it's looking really blue and I don't know what the deal is. It's not even one of those things like, hey, you can't get you know, the proper color kimonos. It's like, you definitely can. You can get you know, kimonos that are in black. But let me show you. I'll show you a picture of me in an actual black kimono. There's no reason for my kimono to look better than this one. It's like, I just rented this one. This is for a movie that's being put out by a big company. W what happened? Also, some people are complaining about the hair. I'm not so worried about it, but like, Kubo himself was saying like, hey, like, I don't think they're gonna get the hair right. And they really didn't. It doesn't look bad per se, but it doesn't look like Ichigo. And just some other things about the costume just to me they, they don't look right it looks like something is wrong with it and so this isn't looking good obviously they can change some things they can use some CGI but if you've ever, ever seen CGI in like, Japanese movies it's not that good so <sighs> please don't suck I don't know what else to say there's lots of people commenting below they say it doesn't look right like, here you can see like the belt is short but on his it's a lot longer and so that's it's a small thing but it just doesn't look right other people are saying instead of like uh, looks like you know like white coming like the white shirt under it it looks like it's just like some cheap collar and like basically it does look like cosplay which i i really don't understand the reason for it it's not like it's made in some other country like it's made in Algeria or something where you're like oh you can't get a real Japanese kimono it's like you're in Japan you can just buy one I'm assuming it's made by Warner Brothers I was like you can't afford to buy an expensive kimono I don't know so somebody comparing talking about the kimono and talking about why it looks bad other people are talking about different things other people are saying like is it really that hard to recreate the orange hair? Like here, it looks like it's supposed to, and here it looks like it's supposed to. And the sad thing is, like, here at the bottom, like, it looks like the kimono is the same quality. Actually, this one here might look better than the real one. At least they're actually black. I, I can't understand how a movie company with millions of dollars can't get this right, but these people can. But. To be completely honest, this isn't the first time and it's not exclusive to Japanese cinema. Like, I remember when that X-Men was being shown, they showed like the first footage of Oscar Isaac as Apocalypse and people were like, what is this? It looks like Ivan Ooze. And then people were defending like, you can't really do a real Apocalypse. You can't, you know, make it look right. It's impossible. But then somebody showed like a cosplay somebody did of Apocalypse and it looked 10 times better in the movie. Other people were saying like, oh, once they put the CGI, it'll look better. It did look better. It still didn't look like Apocalypse. And I'm like, oh, what is going on? Other people are worried about the story and with good reason. I don't know if they can fix the story or not. Maybe they can. Um, 
at least they're doing I I imagine it looks like they're doing the Soul Society arc or at least the beginning but to be honest I don't know if they can do that in one movie like the Soul Society arc like you have Ichigo getting his powers then he gets his powers and he does some kind of like monster of the week stuff in the anime but even in the, the manga it's like it's not like he goes gets his powers and then a week later goes to Soul Society he works as like a soul reaper for a while so I guess they're just gonna like con- condense that and cut some of it out, and then they're going to go to Soul Society, unless they save that for the second movie. But to be honest, if this movie doesn't do well, and it doesn't look good, they're not even gonna have a second movie, so I'm really worried. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's not looking great, but who knows? It's possible to fix it, but I don't have that much faith in it. To be honest, I've been watching Netflix uh, recently, especially like that Luke Cage. Now that is a good show. So, I wish they would do this. So if you're going to do live action, why don't you just do it like a Netflix series and put it out online and do like 10 or 12 episodes of it. And that way you could do the Soul Society arc. So in two hours, I don't know if they can do the Soul Society arc justice. But in you know, like 12 episodes, it's like 12 hours, I think they could do it. Even in 10 hours, I think they could do a good Soul Society arc. But I'm worried they're going to take it and they're going to cut it down. And they're going to do something that's been pissing me off recently. It's when you have some source material like a manga or a comic book or a book. And they turn it into a TV show or a movie and they start chopping things up. That's one thing that's annoying me about Game of Thrones stick to the source material I don't need all this like you're not a better writer than George R.R. R. Martin do what's in the book do what's in the manga even Kubo who I was annoyed about and I ranted about last time his soul society arc has good writing don't change it leave it exa- exactly how it is don't change anything so I, I hope they do that I hope they listen to this advice and I hope if they're looking for a Kaname Tosin they think about me give me a call okay well that's it for this one if you have any questions or comments leave them below leave me a thumbs up subscribe all that other good stuff and oh one more thing since bleach has finished i haven't actually been reading that much manga or i I haven't been watching anime in a while actually so i don't know what's good i've been reading attack on titans a little bit and I, i like that and i watched the first season but now i don't know what to watch so if you have a recommendation for a good anime or manga or both leave them below and until next time see you if you enjoyed that video subscribe also feel free to comment down below and check out some of my other videos here or is it here